Agent Steve Haynes, man. What's up? Oh, hey, man. How you doing? Man, I was wondering, have you heard from your family? Yeah, sure. No, that's a lie. I haven't heard a fucking thing. Damn, that's fucked up, man. Yeah, well, not gonna matter. We're all gonna be dead in about a half hour anyway. What's going on, ladies? Hello, Trevor. What kept you? Business, Michael, business, uh, all right? I'm the CEO of a big international corporation. It's very time-consuming. Nothing, of course, you'd understand, being a gentleman of leisure. Uh -huh. You know, you know, Franklin, <laughs> if there's one thing that you're gonna learn from being around us... Please, just... fucking insanity. Then they can't fry you. If you want something done, go to the busy man. This rich fuck is useless. Uh, oh, ho, ho, hold on, man. Could y'all knock this shit off? Oh, look! Boys, your boys, it's the feds. Hey, where's the other three? What other three? We told you to bring along six. This is a six-man job. No, you didn't. You, Dave did? No, Dave didn't. You said you'd do it. That is a frickin' lie. I do not get things wrong. All right, great. Then we're out of here. Uh, uh, Fuck uh, it. Uh, uh, Let's go. You three can do it alone. And I fuck you. You do your own dirty work. Hey, I do my dirty work every day, keeping the country safe from scum like you. And you're doing a great job, sir. Hey, you want this job done? Then come with us, huh? Come on, come on, Mr. Leisure Wear, Mr. Depressed Accountant. Let's go save America. Who the fuck are we saving it from this time? This is the real deal. My sources are convinced there's a plot in international affairs, you know, the agency. And they're using this facility to make a serious nerve toxin. Ah, <laughs> bullshit. Yeah. Which they plan in their mind-blowing insanity to let a major terrorist release on a metropolitan area so they can continue to get funding. Nothing increases funding for fighting terrorism more than successful acts of terrorism. <laughs> all, right, so, so, all right, so let me get this straight then. No, 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 no. There is no getting it straight. That's the point. Now we're doing this. You two are on getaway. Fuck off and make it happen. Michael, you're with us. What size flipper you wear? Agent Norton, been a while since you were in the field. The sight of you in neoprene is something we save for our worst enemies. Shut up, I'll be fine. And you, get in. You're driving. Follow the coast to the south. It's not far. Listen to me, Steve. No wisecracks, got it? No fucking cliches. We're fighting for the freedom of the people today. Don't lecture me on patriotism. You've been living outside the system too long. Social responsibilities, a joke to you. So maybe I redeem myself, get killed in the process, huh? That old bullshit. No one is dying on my watch. Not even the burnout bank robber with temper issues and nothing to live for. A hero's death is too good for you. You'll die in the ignominy you deserve. Oh, thank God. Fate shall carry me safe through these selfless acts of charity. This is the bay. We can get in through the discharge tunnel. Here goes!
be a great over the outlet. Townley, you've got the cutter. When we get there, go to work punching through. Roger that. I'm taking the oxyhydro cutter to the grate. That's burning at over three and a half thousand degrees. Yeah, thanks for the science lesson. Can I keep this for the next vault I hit? That gas won't last forever, so cut smart. Ready? I was born ready. Let's do this. Come on, Dave. What's the plan? Hey, hey, hey. We locate the toxin and action our escape strategy. That's what we got. Great. Lead the way. Bank robber, set your phaser to stun. Dave, you're on point. I'm leading from the rear. Sooner we're done, the better. You, don't be a hero. Drop your weapon. Okay. Now hit the elevator. So what exactly does a neurotoxin look like? You're on a need-to-know basis, bank robber. Shut it. Elevator coming. Body on board. Stay vigilant. Out, out! <laughs> Grab the card. Now, up! How you feeling about this? I'm feeling pretty damn fine. Yeah, if only your camera crew was here. Round to the right. Come on. We're fine. Move on. 
You see the lab geeks? I don't want trouble from these two. They're down. Let's go. Corridor goes around to the left. Don't sit there. Bring it to them. Stay against this wall. Security is scheduled to come through here. They're on us. Make a judgment call. They're gone. We've got some time. Use the card on that swiper. Lab rat in the cage up ahead should have the secret sauce. Come on. Open the door. I don't know what you think you're doing. He's got the locking system overridden from in there. Pause it. We got company. I'm on it.
We're going! Let's go! It's too risky, Bandito! That bird goes down and takes half the West Coast with it! You know what? If you're done puking up excuses, how about we come up with a solution? Okay, okay! All right, yeah, uh, you go, I'll stay in cover! Fuck it, fine by me. And the dead bodies? I'm lucky I'm not one of them! Come on. Let's go! Special agent, I got discovered! Detain this man! Fuck you, I should detain you! I just took a bullet from my country! Time to go! Bring us up! What happened back there? Where's Agent Haynes? Don't tell me we suffered casualties! Only self-inflicted ones! Fucking guy shot himself so he could pass as a double agent! Nah, well... Maybe they'll debrief him with a 12-inch aluminum flashlight. Haynes took the easy way out. We're the ones hoping we'll outrun the agency response team. I think Franklin's the one taking the easy way. Guy's got his feet up in an aircraft hangar. Look, let's just get to the airport so we can finish this bullshit. When you drop us, I'll take the nerve agent. Mr. Phillips, can I trust you to dispose of the chopper? I got more important things to worry about messing around with this stupid chopper. Like things that actually mean something. Not made up wars, with made up enemies. Matters of the heart. Is he fucking with me? Probably not. So the chemical weapon in there, right? If it even is a chemical weapon, hell, it could be shaving cream for all I know. By the way, next time you're getting wet. Oh, but there won't be a next time, will there, Davy? There never is. I'll do my best for you. I always try. Yeah, well, maybe this time we'll get lucky. Maybe this time Steve will succumb to the strains of enhanced interrogation techniques. Interrogate him? Are you insane? They're probably decorating him right now. Hey, Davy, your boys at the agency are on to you, remember? Huh? You and Stevie. Just try and keep your heads down. Yeah, putz. What is this? Oh, fucking A. Yes! What's up, man? My days in the wilderness are over. Lester, he settled up with that crazy Mexican motherfucker. Gave him the artifact. <laughs> now, as long as Trevor handles the wife, we're good. But what about him, man? Yeah, fuck him. He likes the desert. Besides, we do one big score, we're all gonna have to go our own separate ways anyway. Oh, man. I can't wait to get back to that movie studio. <laughs> Yo, all right, man. Well, shit, I'll holler at you later then, all right? What a shit show. I'll tell you what, you can take this desert and stick it. My life may be a world of pain, but from here on out, it's gonna be cool, comfortable, air-conditioned pain. <laughs> take it easy. I had a wonderful time, Trevor. But we both know I made a vow to my husband. <laughs> I know! You have a great pain inside you. But you are a beautiful man. I've never been so happy and sad in my life. You have a beautiful way with words. <laughs> There's no reason everyone I love abandons me. I am not abandoning you. I am going home. My baby! I am going home. Who's treat you? 
I know. I know. No. Stay. You better treat her right, man! I will, amigo! Yeah, otherwise... The other ear! Of course! The way I see things, you and me and Michael, we're, we're friends now. Good friends! Such good friends that we will make a great effort to avoid one another. That's fucking perfect. Uh, thank Michael for this statue. It is exquisite. Yeah. Yeah, I will. Typical. I miss you already. What the f word are you doing here? That's a funny way to greet your cousin. You ain't my g damn cousin, Trevor. I thought we was family. But please, just go and ruin somebody else's home furnishings. Who the f is that boy? No, no one, my sweet. Hey, by any chance, did you catch crabs at that conference? I heard that those conferences are regular little fuck fest, huh? Can I come in? Huh? I'd like you to leave mm. right now! Oh, yeah. Some serious corporate gangbanging going on, right? Yeah, with every executive and director of communications from here to Bangalore taking it left, right, and center in the name of team training, right? I mean, now that's what Floyd told me yesterday as he was staring at my, uh, my penis. I 
want you to leave now! Look, this is all I've got, all right? I had a tough upbringing. My daddy was not nice to me, okay? Now look, Deborah, I love you, and I love you too, Floyd. Why can't we all just be together, huh? You can have Mondays through Thursdays. You can have the weekends, all right? I know that's not normal, but in this crazy, crazy world, is normal so good, huh? Look, Deborah, Floyd, will you marry me? Get out of my condo! And you go too, Floyd. I told you, I've got a career. I don't need this, this, this crap! Yes! There. <laughs> you made me swear. You're crap, Floyd. Crap! <laughs> You're not a man at all. <laughs> Bob's right about you. Oh, who's Bob? I want both of you to go now. You and your weird friends. Whoa! Hey! My name is Trevor, sweetheart. I could give a fuck what your fucking name is! I'm not afraid to use this. I'm not. Bob taught me. Fuck Bob! You people are not very fucking nice! Oh, hey there, Trevor. <laughs> oh. mm, hey there, Wade. Did you meet Deborah? Ooh, interesting lady. Yeah. I should probably go say hi. I wouldn't. Why not? Let's go get in the car, all right? Let's go have the time of our lives. I know just the place. I could run in and get Floyd and Deborah. I know she seems kind of uptight, but she can have fun. Mm, no, I don't think she can, Wade. Just Floyd then? Floyd's gonna meet us there. Floyd's trip? Exactly. Oh, Trevor, maybe you got all over yourself. You're all red. You got, you got syrup? Yeah, syrup, accidents. We've all been there. We sure have, but but it don't taste like syrup. Don't taste me, all right? Just no licking. Okay. Hey, you remember when we met? Sure. Really? Last year. I was on the way to the gathering with Daisy Bell and Kush Chronic and... And you stopped in Sandy Shores to get lit, and you met a dealer, and he looked... You met a dealer, and he looked after you when your friends had abandoned you. That was weird, weren't it? The last time I saw him, it was with you, driving out... Excuse me, my car! Driving out to the quarry, and then they just disappeared. Poof! Right? I mean, they were gone. Some friends, right? And now, Cousin Deborah don't want you around. I mean, there's a pattern here. The Congo did get messy. The pattern is you can't rely on anyone. Anyone except me. Look, this is it. This is where Floyd is gonna meet us, a strip club? Oh, yeah. That's unlike him. He's a real homebody. He loves that apartment. Interestingly, you and me, we got a new home. Where? <laughs> here. Mm, right here. Here? Mm, here. Now, I know it's unconventional, but that's the way we roll, homie. Hey, you two. You two, I want you to give this boy a good time. <laughs> For a long time. <laughs> hey, gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Tell me where the manager is for this fine establishment. Through there and take two doors to the right. Mm -hmm. Through there. To the right. Thank you. Amigo! Prepare to meet your new partner.
Hey, Lester. Hey, uh, Trevor just called about the, um, the big one, the, the UD. You know anything? Yeah, I told him we could hit it. You down? Of course I'm down. Look, I'll get my research together and meet you at Trevor's. He's taking over the Vanilla Unicorn Gentleman's Club. All right, message Franklin. Hello. Hi, Key Guy. What's up, bro? Look, I know you aren't still fixing computers for a living. When are you gonna throw some work my way? Hey, if you're right for a project, I'll be in touch, okay? Okay, but don't forget about me. My boy, Mike! Good to see you! Struggling. Hey, what's good? I'm fine. I'm the one that's fine. It's every other dumb motherfucker who ain't fine. I'll take that. Can Cardiac somebody get me a sandwich? Oh, okay. You want a private dance? Jerk? You look like you want a private dance. Okay, Jerkwad, it's your freaking money. Gotta give me some cush after ride tripping on these fools. Is that right? Look out!
Hey. Before you ask, the fridge is broken. That's all right. I've had enough of your hospitality already. I have changed my ways, all right? Huh? Yeah, I'm done with that crazy shit, all right? I want to square things away with Merriweather, make sure the agency ain't coming back after us, and then do one last big score, and then you get to go back with your family. Me, I'm just gonna live here. I'm gonna run this, this good business showing people a good time. B bust Brad out of prison, and then, you know, happy. <laughs> so how'd you come by this place anyway? I've had it for ages. So you must know Leon. The old manager. Leon? I didn't know. Yeah, whatever, man. So what's going on here? What's going on is the big one. A long, long time ago, in a faraway place, there were three guys. Michael, Trevor, and Lester. And Brad. Uh, yeah. Sure, Brad was there sometimes as well. I mean, there were other guys, though, too. So, uh... Anyway, we uh, robbed and lied and we hurt people. Pretty much lived a low-life kind of existence. But always dreaming of one thing and one thing only. The big one. The big one. The, the big, big one. one! What is the big one? <laughs> the Union Depository. Around 200 million in gold bricks, all taken from kindly Uncle Sam, who will spend the rest of our lives being hunted by government officials if we live through the attempt. But, but it'll be my, uh, our masterpiece. So, gentlemen, let's do our civic duty and get out there and find some gainful employment. This way. Let's go. Big one. on a dry run to the depository, Intel suggests they'll be going down Innocence Boulevard in East LS at approximately 15.30. Trevor and I need to map their route for a possible hijack point, so we're going to his airfield in Blaine County, coming back in his chopper to intercept. Michael, Franklin, all you gotta do is take the temperature at the bank, see if there's anything that stands out. We are uh, taking the temperature. Yeah, you know, getting a feel for it. Security, exit rods, general vibe. All right. Like much. Man, security looks light. We send in a couple of sprung niggas, clap, clap. What are you talking about, Frank? Oh, I see it. Man, getting in the door is easy. It's a standard bank. It's getting underground as hard. Ain't that where the metal's kept? Right. Now we gotta stop outside the Arcadia Center down on Alta Street. We can get a view of the back from there. You'll get 20% of 200 million. A maximum of 200 million, if I can get the funds diverted and you pull it off. Still, come on, 20% of that's a lot of coin for sitting on your fat ass. Is it too much to ask for a little respect? Just a little? Because I respect you, Trevor. Strangely, I do. I can see how you're useful. Terrifying, but useful. Oh. Well, I can think of a few uses for you, you chubby little ball of fun. I want your help. All 20% of 200 million of it. Actually, man, I've got another job I want your help with after this. Yeah, right. Whatever. No, seriously. A big job. Payment up front. What? We're down on Alta Street, coming up on the back of the bank. Yeah. I don't know why I didn't think of it before. 
I want to bring you in on the ground floor this time. That's not a joke about... I just hope that broke your goddamn neck. That's not a joke about disabled access. I didn't think it was, but now I do. I ain't even talked to Mike about it yet, but he's gonna be on board. He's obligated. What is it? Ain't it obvious? Bustin' Brad out of the clink. Okay, I'm gonna stop you there, T. Some things are just better left alone. Brad's not a thing. He's part of the crew. Well, a crew's more than a sum of its parts, and he was a pretty shit part. He is a pretty shit part, and that's only because he's in jail. No, he was, is shit because he's lazy, forgetful, mean, and stupid, with respect. He's changed, all right? He writes now, emails, he's educated himself inside, and he'll be a valuable part of the team. Why don't you talk to Michael about it? I will, but I gotta talk to you too. You're planning this. Talk to Michael, then come back to me. Oh, fine. Shit. I was gonna pay you, man. When there ain't an obvious profit in something, you're a hard guy to motivate. You're the one who keeps talking about the schedule, Lest. Come on! Look, dawg, light again, man. Yeah, a fucking eerie, ain't it? Man, you think they put more than one motherfucker on our national fucking reserves? Yeah, huh? Well, maybe we really are broke.
What are you thinking? I'm thinking I don't like being in close proximity to you for extended periods of time. And the same for short periods of time. Oh, there's ways to make minutes go by. Six in sight. Stand by. Hey, I was expecting you 30 seconds ago. Tell that to the traffic. <laughs> All right. Onion 86 in the building. Now, if I remember from planning the tool store job, they're excavating the new LS Metro tunnel around here. They take us around the building and find the construction site. Roger that! Looking for a big asshole! about this feel pretty good we got Lester planning it he'll get us options there's you a guy I know I can depend on and then there's Trevor ah yeah Trevor get it done and Willie I hope so man I hope he holds it together hey you ain't done too good of a job at that yourself you feel me yeah well I ain't pissed off hillbillies bikers a Mexican gang some Chinese gangsters and a private army okay so there's that yeah, but you just pissed off the FIB and the IAA and your family, man. You know what? I met Amanda, and I know who scares me the most. <laughs> Point taken. So you gonna tell me about this Brad dude and the deal with the FIB? What happened in North Yankton back in the day anyway? This ain't the time. Man, we about to go in together on the biggest job ever being pulled. There ain't ever gonna be a better time to fill me in on this shit. It's complicated, all right? Fuck it, I'm gonna ask Trevor. Don't. Ask Trevor. Shit, man, you sound shady, dawg. Real shady. We'll talk, all right? Just later.
I holla him. Hey, when he's got something, Lester will be in touch. Just in case I wasn't having enough fun already. Hey, man. Fuck. What do you want? I'm your friend. I don't want anything, man. Come on, your company's good enough, huh? Same as always. Yeah, thanks. I really appreciate that. So, family ain't back yet, huh? <laughs> nope. Oh, she's a goddamn fool, man. Despite all the chaos of these last few weeks, I think I finally figured it out. I know. No. Sounds ridiculous. No, actually, it does not sound ridiculous, you know? Because you, you're a killer. You know? You are a man of action. You do not sit on couches. You take scores. You're back, man. We are back. All right? All we got to go do is bust out Brad, and then we're golden, man. Franklin, he makes us multicultural. Lester makes it cyber. We're like modern America. We just get ourselves a gay friend. Bam! No, it's not it. I got money. It just makes you miserable. I want to make movies. Great. It's great. And uh, so where exactly does this leave me in the second act of your life? We're going to do this last big job. And then we're going to dissolve the partnership. This is not a game to me. All right, this is a fucking way of life. I got a fucking family. Yeah, well, I got nothing. No one gives a fuck about me. I do. Oh, fuck you. I saw your grave. I mourned you. And then it turns out that everything I fucking thought about you was wrong. Everything. You're not dead, and you're not a man. Well, what the fuck are you? I'm your fucking nightmare! Yeah, enough with your goddamn threats! I 
I mean, let me just ask you something, all right? Something I've been, I've been thinking about. Up in North Yankton, exactly who was buried in your place? I never gave it any thought. You know what I'm thinking? I had no clue. You treacherous piece of shit! You're fucking dead. You're fucking dead! Oh, fuck. Trevor! Hey! T! That's my car, you prick! Where you going? You know where I'm going! Fuck you! You don't need to go all the way to North Yankton to find out what I can tell you over a couple beers back in my house. Come on, we'll order pizza. Fuck you! Fuck your pizza! Fuck everything it stands for! This is insanity! Oh no! No, it's clear and reason thought! Finally! Stop your car! Come on! Come back, we'll talk! Oh, I'm not gonna listen to another one of your lies! Hey, I'll lay it all out for you, everything. Just stop the car, turn around. I'm going up there to see it for myself. You'll be disappointed. <laughs> oh, it'll be something. It'll be an anti-climax. The grave's empty. Just a bag of sand, something like that. Just smoke and mirrors. Oh, the lies! How do you do it, man? The game is up! I'm trying to save you a trip. You've done me enough favors, buddy, all right? Save your fucking breath! Trevor, come on! Fuck you, Michael! Soon enough, I will. Shit! Special Agent Norton. Shit. Davey! Shit, he knows. I think he knows. What? Who? I think! Shit. Shit, how? I don't know how. He used his head. But does he know? Does he know at all? Hey, he's on his way up to Ludendorff to confirm his suspicions. Shit. Then what? Then who fucking knows what? I don't know. I'm gonna go see if I can reason with him. I come, but I, 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 I... Yeah, don't worry about it. This is between me and him. Besides, if it goes wrong up there, I'm sure you ain't far down his list. That's good to know. Well, there's no need to keep me posted on this, all right, Dad? Bye. That man has already reached the airport. Regardless of where he's going, we'll be able to get him.